Yo, what is going on guys? It's Logue for the win here, bringing you guys what is quite possibly the worst attack, the worst, not even an attack, the worst attempt of an attack in all Clash of Clans history. First of all, we're going to go and take a look at this guy's base. As you can see, he's a level 18 with 505 trophies. He's farming or uh, attempting to raid and farm with barbs and a couple of giants and goblins and I don't think he uses archers but a similar strategy to me so first of all he's going to start off by dropping a few wall breakers at the bottom right to go after this gold mine not really aware that uh, my barb king is going to kill them so he's going to drop about five wall breakers I want to say and he doesn't even break through one wall which is funny so then he's going to send his guys in there and he's hoping that they'll go for that wall but they go for the town hall and that air defense instead so my Barb King is just going to scramble around and attack them, as long as my cannons are. And uh, speeding up here, looks like it's going to go for the top left, go for that expo, try to get some elixir out of my pumps, as you can see. So he's got his two guys taking out that expo, although it does have about 2,000 health, or like 1,500 health, so he's struggling to do that. And uh, then he's just going to go all in, sort of at the bottom, try to take out my town hall and get a couple buildings there, but... My Barb King is going to come around and take out his Barbarians. So, basically, he got 0%. A whopping 0%. Have you ever been attacked and seen somebody not destroy one building? I'm serious. This is this is the worst attack in Clash of Clans history. I'm putting... I'm, I'm labeling this video the worst attack in Clash of Clans history. Alright, so, speeding up or skipping ahead... This is a couple weeks later. This is how you want to attack somebody like a boss. Not really. This isn't my typical strategy, but it is something that I've been trying out a couple of times. I enjoy it. It's pretty cheap and fast to make. Basically, I'm going to go with about 100 archers. and uh, I think I had 120 archers and about 80 barbs or 60 barbs. And then some minions just throw in there for the heck of it to make them come out faster. Mainly, I'm just going for the archer and barb strategy. Also, I think I did use a couple wall breakers, which is always useful. So, and I'm going to use both of my uh, both of my heroes, my Barb King and my Archer Queen. They're going to do a ton of work as well. So I couldn't really do it without them. Also, I'm going to drop this Rage spell right here. And normally, this um, is a pretty good base. It doesn't have the best defenses in the world, like as mortars are level four, except for that one that the Barb King is attacking is level five, I believe. And uh, what else? What else? You know, he's got, like, level 1 wizard towers, so, you know, level 7 cannons and archer towers. Pretty, pretty easy overall. So, we had a ton of elixir, and that's actually what I'm farming for right now. Uh, I'm going for the level 6 giants, which I'm going to show you guys here in a minute. But it's taken me a while to get that, man, because uh, my elixir storage is worth maxed out at, like, 3.3 mil. And now they're at, like, 4.5 mil, so I still have to level up a couple of elixir storages to get that. So, it's going to take two days. And I'm having to grind to get this elixir back anyways. What I did, guys, I'll tell you guys, I completely failed. I uh, armied up, or I ranked up an army camp by accident, and that was going to take five days. So that was like 2.25 million elixirs. So I canceled that and decided to go ahead and level up a dark elixir drill instead. Because I have my dark elixir barracks going to level 4, I think, or level 3. To level 3, which I'll be getting Valkyries, which should be pretty tight. And, uh... I'm going for level 4 wizards. I didn't want to do that, but it's only going to take 3 days, and it was pretty cheap on Alexis, so I went ahead and did that. So next I'm going to get this Alexis storage, and then one more I'm going to have to max out, I believe. So it's going to take a couple of days. And other than that, here's the level 6 troops, level 6 giants. So you can see they do 37 damage and have 800 health, so they're going to be ridiculous. And the archers only get 2 plus damage and plus 4 health. But I think that plus 2 damage is going to make a good difference. It's going to be really nice. I mean, they're just going to destroy shit. Whenever they mob up with like 50 of them, man, they're just going to destroy shit. And there's my clan castle. And that's the end of the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to y'all later. Alright, I'm out. Peace. Alright, so as it turns out, I lied to you guys. I'm going to go ahead and do one more raid here. And this is going to be a pretty good raid, might I add to that. So, looks like we got not max troops. We have a little bit less than max troops. About, 
want to say about 150 troops, which is fantastic for raiding at this 1200 trophy range. I actually made it all the way up to about 1750 trophies, which is now my new record, and I was pretty happy about that, but farming was not too good up there. You know, you had to spend all 200 troops, plus clan castle troops, plus heroes, plus raid spells to really even beat any of these guys and to really actually half the time you're beating them and you're not even getting any reasonable loot. So now I'm done farming trophies. I'm farming uh, Elixir mainly so I can get these level 6 troops. And right here, man, this guy had a pretty strong defense as you can tell. Pretty good level 8 town hall. Uh, his walls could have probably been structured a little bit better as you can see on the top right. Uh, you know, it's double layered, but this is where the minions shine right here. They're out of range of that archer tower, so they're going to go ahead and clean up pretty much all of that elixir for me, and that's so crucial, man. If that archer tower wasn't there, they probably could have got almost all that gold as well. So, uh, that's why that's why I really like the minions overall. That's where they come in to shine. So, that is the end of this video for real this time. I got a pretty good amount of dark elixir, a total of about 300, a little over 300k. So uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy these raids, and here's one more overview of my base, and uh, yeah, I'm getting pretty good views on this channel, but I'm not getting a lot of likes and comments, so just give me some motivation, guys, let's shoot for five likes and five comments, just to, you know, give me some motivation to make these videos, and anyways, guys, I'm out, thank you for watching, and I'll be talking to you guys later, make sure to subscribe if you're new as well, and I'm out, peace.